Statistics and Excel. Combining two histograms on one chart, part number three. Get ready, taking a deep breath, holding it in for 10 seconds, and looking forward to a smooth, soothing Excel. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, uh, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But, but that's okay, whatever. Because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our, trust me, I'm an accountant product line. Yeah, it's paramount that you let people know that you're an accountant. Because apparently we're among the only ones equipped with the number crunching skills to answer society's current deep, complex, and nuanced questions. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we basically built this from a blank worksheet. However, we started in a prior presentation with just our data set. If you do have access to this workbook, three tabs down below, example, practice blank, example, in essence, answer key, practice tab having pre-formatted cells so you could get right to the heart of the practice problem blank tab is where we started with just our data set so that we can practice formatting cells within Excel as we work through the practice problem so what did we do last time we had our data set on the left related to heights we created a table with it we then made a histogram from it now because we're dealing with heights and we have a pretty extensive sample of heights we get this nice shape which looks kind of like a bell type shape where we have most of the results somewhere in the middle and they're tapering off to either side then our objective is to take two data sets and put them on the same chart to do that it's not so easy to do if i go to the insert tab with just a histogram easier with say a bar chart so what we did is mirror uh, our histogram uh, with a bar chart by creating our buckets manually, not really manually, but using Excel uh, uh, to do it instead of using a histogram to do it. And then we created a bar chart. So now we have something that we might be able to plot some other data on it as well. So we then said, let's take our data set and make another related data set. Now to do that, we just took the prior data set times 0.95, imagining this was for men, this was for women. That's not actually the case with this data set, but it just gives us an idea of what we can now do. So we then made a histogram from that data set, and it looks similar to this histogram, but the middle point is different because of course we just shifted it by, by multiplying by 0.95 on the second data set. We then created a, a bar chart in a similar way as we did over here but we wanted to make the buckets line up to the same buckets this is where it gets kind of tricky because we, these bucket size if you want to put two of these bar charts on the same graph you want to have the same uh, bucket sizes so we took these bucket sizes over here and extended them to the lower regions so that we have enough buckets to, uh, to contain all the data sets for the men and the women. All right, so now we're gonna put them on the same graph. Now, before we do that, let's imagine that we just put them on top of each other. Like if we added these two data sets together in one data set and we've made one histogram from it, it's gonna come up with a mush, uh, just a, a bunch of, it's, gonna, it's not gonna separate the two data. So let me show you what I mean. So let's copy this entire data set right here for the heights. I'm gonna put my cursor up top. Let's just select the entire column of Z and then I'm gonna right click and copy. I'll bring that on over to the right and let's just test that out in AY. Uh, we'll right click and I'm just gonna paste it. Uh, let's pay, did I paste it? One, two, three, let's undo that. Let's just paste it normal, paste it normal. I did paste it normal. Okay, so it pulled in. And then I'm going to go back on over and I'm also going to take the data set for the women. Now I'm going to copy just the women's data by putting my cursor in the drop down and copying just the data. So now I'm not getting the header 
and right click and copy. And then I wanna put this underneath so we have this very large data set. So I'm gonna go into the data set. This goes down quite far. So to get to the bottom, I'm gonna hit Control Shift and down. That takes me to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna paste the data right here at the bottom. I'm way down here, 25,000. So I'm gonna right click and paste uh, this data. Let's paste this one, two, three. And so now we have all this data going all the way down to 5,000 lines, right? We just put the two data sets on top of each other. What would that do if we had, if we entered the histogram to it? Let's put a table around it just to lock this in place. So I'm gonna to go to the insert tab, table group and insert a table. And so it's going all the way down to 5,000. That looks right. The dancing ants are doing their mamba around the proper location. I don't care if they're dancing as long as they're doing the work, right? You, you play hard, you work hard, you play hard. If the ants want to dance, then they can as long as they get it done. As long as you get it done. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, so then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to insert. Let's put our cursor up top. And so now I'm going to select all that data and let's just make a histogram from that. So I'm going to go to the insert charts and then drop down and let's make a histogram. So there it is. So now you'll notice what happened here is it kind of, it kind of mushed the two histograms together, right? That's so you, you, so you might like when you do that, you might expect that it's going to give you kind of two histograms or something, but no, obviously it's going to mush it all. It's going to mush all the data together. So I can't really separate the two, the two data sets. Uh, so we get, you know, this wider histogram as opposed to as a, so you can kind of imagine what happened here, right? We had these two histograms uh, that we had this one and this one, we took the two data sets and put them together and we get, you, we get something that looks like this. And, and you can imagine these are really kind of two histograms like that are kind of mushed together. Cause we, if we break them out in two data sets, let's do that now. So now what I want to do is say, well, well, what I'd like to do is show two different data sets maybe have them as a different color so what i want to do is take my buckets take all this stuff that we made for uh the men and the women so and i'll put them you know uh together and then and then put them on the same graph so let's put them together like that i'm going to go to the left and let's choose this whole data set all i really need are the are the buckets that we made and then the results. So I'm gonna copy that. So I'm gonna take this all the way down and right click and copy. And I'm gonna to go to the, to the right to where we wanna put it. And so we'll put it all the way over here somewhere in like uh, BP and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna paste it just one, two, three. I don't really need the formulas. So I'll just paste it one, two, three. So there's just our data that we made. We could also, and it might even be safer, by the way, to do this with with a formula. Like so, so instead of doing it that way, let's let's show you another way we can do it. I'm going to undo that. I could say I'm going to start here in BP and say equals, and then I'm going to point to that data set. So then if I changed my data set, uh, this graph would change with it. So I'm going to point to th this number in. E17. Notice when I scroll over, you can still see where, where, you know, the formula bar up top. And if I hit enter, it'll bounce me back over here. And then I can copy this to the right. So this is actually a reference in E17. Copy that to the right. And then I'm going to copy these two cells down. And I'm just going to go until I don't have any more data. So I'll just copy it down. And it's still going. It's still going like that bunny with the battery in it. Uh, we'll keep on rolling till the battery runs dry and the bunny falls over and puts his head, his head goes right through the drum that he was banging because he ran out of power. So let's go up top and then make this a little bit larger. Okay, so that's, that's our, our first data set. So now if I was to if I was to select that data and insert, and let's put a header on it. I'm going to select these two. I want to put something above it. So I'm going to insert cells above it. So I'm going to select those two, right click, insert, 
and then shift the cells down. So see, I, see I'm gonna call this the men's data set and we'll make that our headers, home tab, fonts group. Let's make it black and uh, white. So, and maybe I should put the men over here because I'll try to use the same columns too. But, and then I could make a, uh, a bar chart out of that, our, hist our bar chart histogram that we made before. I can take this data and say, I want to scroll up and insert then the, not the histogram, but the bar chart, which will make in essence a histogram like thing. So there we have it. So we did that in the prior presentation. Now we want to take the data set, the second data set for the women and put them on this same chart. So I'll make this nice and wide. And so now we want to take the second data set. So let's start by doing the same thing. I'm going to make a, a skinny BR. Let's make a skinny BR and I'll pull this to the right. And then I'm going to put my cursor in BS and say equals, and I'm going to pull in the data set from the women. So I'm going to go on over here. The buckets that we put together for the women in a prior presentation are down here. So here's our bucket sizes. So we'll take these buckets, 57 uh, to, and then to 57, 52, enter. I'm going to copy that to the right copying it to the right, roger that, copy out, roger. That, that's uh, airplane speak, in case you don't know, as a pilot. So then I'm gonna copy this down and we're gonna copy this down. And so, so there we have those. So those have been copied down. Now I wanna line up these two buckets. So notice this one is starting uh, at 57. So, I, so for the men, I'd like to kind of push this down until it, until it gets to the 60. So this line, in other words, I want to line up that line uh, with this line, uh, 60, 60, 28, this one. So how can I do that? Well, I could select the whole thing and pull it down. I could insert cells. I can cut and paste. Let's try inserting cells. So I'm gonna select from here to here, and then I'm gonna insert cells above it, which should pull these down. So that's, this is the way that I think is most unintuitive to most people, but highly useful. So I'm gonna right click and insert, and then I wanna shift the cells down. So I'm gonna say, shift the cells down. Now notice it, it formatted it like the cell above it on these blank ones. Uh, if you hit just undo, then it usually undoes just the formatting or sometimes it does. I'm going to redo it. It didn't do it that time. And sometimes it also has that little formula bar, but you can also just, I'm going to put my cursor on some other cell that doesn't have any formatting in it. Home tab, clipboard, paintbrush, and then I'm going to paintbrush this formula. Okay. So, so, so there we have it. Now let's add the extra, uh, the extra, buckets here. I'm going to put them on the men's side, adding the extra buckets. So there's our buckets where the men have zero. I'm going to put zeros in the men's data for those buckets. So now I'm going to be using this, this as my X because it has the buckets, which are going to be useful for both the men's and women's data. And then I can pick up these two data sets, men and women here. So we'll make this black and white. So now we need to adjust our data. So if I click in the data, you'll see that we're not including this stuff over here. So the easiest way to do that is we can, we can click on it and see the, and just drag these up. So now we're picking up the data and the columns. Now, if, if the other way you can do that is you can go to the chart designs and select data and you'll see here's the data series. So if I go into that one and go into my data, it's picking up this column. And then on this side, these are the buckets, right? So you can see it's picking up the buckets. Okay, so now we wanna add, what we wanna do is add now the woman's data, which is properly lining up to the same buckets. So all we need to do is add another data series. I don't need to add the buckets because the whole trick here is 
that the buckets are lining up for both of them. We have the same X uh, side, so now we can line up our two Ys uh, in our in our chart. So the way to do that is we can or we can go into our chart again, chart design, and I want to say select data, and now I want to have another series of data on the left, which is just going to be the the results because the buckets are the same. So I'm going to then say, let's hit the uh, add data. And then we'll call the series name, I'll just say W. And then we pick up the data. And again, we just need the data size. We don't need the bucket. So I'm just going to select the data here in BT, uh, BT2 and control shift down. That's the entire data. So I'm going to say, OK. And so now we've got these two data series. And I'm going to say, OK, let's see what that does. And now we've got these two that have been populated on the same graph. So that, which makes kind of sense. So now we've got this one, right? We can see the middle point here uh, is, at, is at the 64 about, which you'll recall if we go over to our histogram for the women's data around 64, the histogram for the men uh, or the whole thing, we're, we're imagine men 67. So the second middle point uh, is, you know, around that 67, right? So obviously this one is very, very similar looking because we just took, we just basically took the two, two data sets and multiplied one data set times point uh, nine five. but you could see, you know, how they would be, how you could basically plot two line items on the same graph. Now, once we have these, you might then want some uh, labels on something like this. So we might then go, okay, Let's see if I can say the plus button, and we might want uh, we might want a legend for this one. So we could add uh, a legend. So we've got series one and series two, and then within the legend, we could rename those datas. So if I go into the chart design, and uh, I say I say select data, then I can rename the series names up here by editing series one, which I might want to edit and just call it men and then okay. And then series two, edit and call the name women. Uh, or you might take it actually from here as well and say, okay, that'd probably be a better way to do it. So, so there we have that. And then you could do the same formatting with your datas and make them a little bit uh, wider if you wanted to. So you could go into your your data and we can go into the width and see if I can change it to 0.25. And so now it's changing one line at a time. So sometimes it gets a little finicky. Control Z, control uh, to, to change the data of all of the data set when you have multiple items on it. So there I was able to adjust it a little bit to make it a little bit wider over there. So you can kind of uh, tinker with that. But you can see here that they have them spaced out. So you can see the two on the overlap. Now you could select uh, the datas and change the, the fill color of the data so that it's you know a lighter data set if you so choose. Or you can have uh, the no fill solid fill and adjust that the gradient fill so you might choose you know different fill patterns uh which could help with basically the overlap so here's different fill patterns that you can have uh that might might help to emphasize one of the data sets versus the other data set so you can play with those and automatic so those are the those are the so i'll stop it here so we don't run too long but you have the normal kind of formatting tools it's just when you have two the two data sets on one graph then uh you, you might do some of the tools to kind of highlight one data set versus the other data set you might play more with the colors of the data set uh on them so let's go back on over here and just do our normal formatting i'm going to select the entire uh data set and let's just make it blue and bold some or blue and bordered home tab font group border and then blue and then let's select this data set and do the same thing i'll just say font blue and border and so that looks good 
And then over here, uh, we just took that whole data set, so that looks good. So that's the, that's the general idea.